Hi folks, I uh, hope you're doing okay. It's Wednesday, 14th of April, about half past 12 in the afternoon. Um, I have been out in the shed um, sorting out my new wall storage. I will show you that another day or film it and put it, I don't know, I'll film it at some point. Um, and my own has arrived from Mariners. Luckily, the Hermes man, it was a normal man, uh, kind of knows me and or remembers my name because for some reason they sent it with the number of this house but the street of the old house but he kind of had it he was like I know your name and I was he says I'm just taking a chance I was like thank you very much um so yes I've been on Mariners and I don't know how that happened I've had a delivery here already I don't know but it, it got messed up so I've made sure my account has got the right address on it and I thought I'd show you what I've got <laughs> after seeing everything that's in the shed I'm kind of like oh god <laughs> this is a lot I've now got my uh, glass fronted wool cabinet DVD rack wool cabinet is full of blanket yarn like top to bottom full of blanket yarn <laughs> what am I doing with my life oh dear me so I was out in the shed, I did some last night and then I did the rest this morning. Um, oh, I'm trying to keep bird out there, I think it's a blue tip. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I did that and Jack was outside helping me and then he got some bubbles out and then I demanded that Tobin came downstairs because basically just sat online all day yesterday and then um, he was aiming to sit on um, I think he was gearing up to sit on it again all day today. I'm like, no, 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 come outside. Um, I wanted to go out this morning, but it said my parcel would be here between 11 and 1. And it's a good job I was here because I wanted to double check the address. I don't think he'd have left it if I wasn't here. So that was good. And then his friends just come online, so they disappear upstairs to play. So I said, well, we'll have dinner at 1 and then potentially go out. We've got Amazon are coming, but. Um, they came yesterday when I was taking Jack swimming, so I just sort of shouted through the doorbell camera thing. He went, he put it over the gate, and I just managed to get it working. I said, "Thank you." <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah, that was all right. Um, let me show you this yarn for a waffle more. So this uh, is all from Mariner, and this is um, yeah, this is different. So this is their double knit, and this is shade 18, which I think. Yeah, according to the bag, is poppy. I've got a jigsaw under these balls of yarn, so I've got to be careful. Um, so I have five of those for the red and green blanket. Then, <laughs> really don't need more yarn, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, two balls of, again, their double knit. It's got the award winning thing on it. 2020 winners for, for some category. Uh, this is shade 42, which I think is just red. Um, one, I thought I'd have more than one. I'll tell you why I need more than one, or why. I'm gonna fudge it. Um, this is just in their basic double knit. This is the, yeah, double knit essentials. This was a pound. Um, color 201, optic white. And then I have five of these. This is shade 16. Uh, this is apple, I believe. Um, I have five of those for the green and red blanket and part of the rainbow blanket. And then, last one. <laughs> it's only 10 more balls to go. <laughs> only. I got two in. The standard double knit shade 75 which i think is sunflower and two in the essentials blue jade shade 220 i wasn't sure what blue to use for the rainbow blanket so i thought well i'll get a couple and then i can decide you know how it all goes together whether you have like pastely or really bright or it's hard to tell this is sunrise Hmm, might not have been sunflower then, I don't know, but uh, a softer yellow in the essentials. 
upside down. One shade 52 fondant. I have got two of these already, or one and a bit of these, because I think I made the monster I made earlier in the month out of this. But pink is quite early on in the colour order I've been asked to make this in, so I won't need as much as the other colours. Much of it as the other colours. Uh, blue. Do I already have some of this? I don't know. Or whether it's early on in the progression, but I only have one. I don't know why I ordered Who knows? Start clicking and you lose all <laughs> track of time and space and all sorts. So uh, the last two are shade 94, might be violet, might be purple, I can't quite remember. Um, and that's it, what else have I got in my bag? Shawsdirect.com, lounge, dining, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. Oh, it's just like a leaflet with curtains and stuff. And a bag of Harry bags, very kind of them. So I will, I'm not going to particularly put this away in the, in the cupboards in the shed because I want to keep it separate for these blankets. Um, but I have done like a, a colour range like per cube, so reds, burgundies are in one cube. I've put white, cream and grey together and black and brown together. Um, yellows, I haven't got a lot of yellows so these what I don't use of these four will go in there. Um, pinks, got their own purples, got their own blues, got their own. I have, uh, I've got it five by three, so I've got 15 in there. Um, I've got one left, but it's not, no way for it to go, so it doesn't matter. Um, I found the big balls of proper Bernat blanket yarn in one of my big storage tubs, so they've gone in a, in a cubicle of their own. Um, Red Heart, uh, I found some more <laughs> Lollies Armoni in the storage tub. Oh God, I just kept pulling it out and I'm like, oh, okay, this this is quite bad. <laughs> well, it doesn't go off, excuse me, she knows. So while I was waiting for this stuff to turn up and I was like, I've got nothing to crochet last night, I went and had a chat with our neighbour just to have a look at his daughter's blanket to see what it was like. I was like, I think it's got pinks and purples in it and white, but I can't, and other than that, I can't think. So it's, um, well, I looked at it, I thought, like, oh, it's a chevron, but then when I was looking at chevron patterns, they were quite steep. So I've gone with the um, Neat Ripple by Attic 24 by Lucy. Um, I've made, at least one of these, I think two. Or I started. Did it was it the neat ripple I ripped out and made? No, I did make one. I made one for my friend. In like white, green, blue colours. And then I don't know, but I've made it before. Um and I'm just using I pulled out some white, which is why I might end up pilfering that white that came. Because I'm using that white that I already ordered um, last time. I'm using that white for this, so I might stick with, I've got a ball and a, well, nearly a full ball, and then another properly full ball. So I might stick with that for this. And then the only white that's wanted on the rainbow blankets is in the center of one of them, and potentially for around the edge. So I might use the white I've already got, because I've got a couple of almost full balls of white, but they're not mariners, so. Um, I don't know, I'll see. I'll fudge it, but um, my problem was if you're using white like this and then having a few colours and going back to white, I didn't want it to be a different white. Um, so, so that it'd be noticeable. Um, but what I'm doing different to Lucy's pattern is just working in the back loops of each uh, stitch, just to give it the texture um, that I've seen. I watched uh, Blossom Crochet her channel and she's got like the rippled, uh, the ridged effect and it's just double checked your back loop in, it, it, you know, back loop in each row so you get the texture on it. It's lovely. I have to say this yarn from 
it's really nice it's super soft but so is the it's it's a different twist to the mariners but they feel just lovely together i was like are they gonna is a twist gonna it's like if you use stylecraft and then you use maybe like a new fashion or, or um like a king cole uh what's theirs king cole big value is it is it Jim's Brett top value? I don't know, but you know, if you use another DK, you can tell what the which is the stylecraft and which isn't. But I think this works, plays nicely together. It's very pretty. I I did possibly I don't know if I've gone too wide, but I want to make a nice big blanket for next door. So I've got several. It's not bigger than my wingspan, so <laughs> that's that's something. But I was counting my, I used stitch markers. It's a free pattern, but it's a multiple of 14 plus three at the end. And I've got all the way back across. And where you stop and turn, you're supposed to work back and do a decrease here. And mine was an increase on the row below. I'm like, how? So it all came back, all got ripped out. And I finished the first row this morning. And he was like, if you've done it right, you should have one stitch left. I was like, ah -ha! <laughs> <laughs> And then you, you've got a decrease here. So I've, I've done that just since this morning. Um, I had an hour or two on my own this morning. Then um, the boys came down for breakfast. Me and Jack, Jack and I, me and Jack, me and the boy, um, started a jigsaw that I bought on... Amazon the other day, he likes 500 piece jigsaws. We've done a few thousand piece ones, but he much prefers, um, especially this sort of really colourful. We've got one um, where it's like in an attic and there's loads of stuff like rocking horse and pictures and toys and stuff like that. And I think it's called Filled to the Rafters. And this one is, I don't know, Sweet Shop. Yeah, the Sweet Shop. Um, I think it was like seven pound or something. It was in my, I think it was, you know, I've moved it out of my basket when I was looking. Or, you know, put it in my list or whatever. And um, I had to order something for him the other day. What do I order? No, oh, he wants a sleep mask. Or well, he's got one. Um, he was moaning about the light in his bedroom, even though he's got a blind and a blackout curtain. Still moaning. So, um, I sort of emailed Paul and said, do, do you mind? Are you, can you have this? I was like, I told him I'd have to speak to you before I ordered it. Um, just to see what your opinion on it is. Because I was a bit worried about him having a mask, you know. Like, choke himself. Of course, it's fine with me as long as he doesn't choke himself in the night. I'm like, oh, that was my thought. But it's, it's a pretty good one. He's seen it on a blooming YouTube video. Seen a certain make. I can't remember what it was. But I looked at it on Amazon, it was like 27 quid. Anyway, oh, I'm like, yeah, if, if you had it, I wouldn't let you spend that on a sleep mask. So I think the one he got was six pounds almost, a few pennies off that. Um, so I said, you can have that. And then it came when I was at the gym the other night. So I got a picture pop up on my watch while I was on the uh, elliptical of Jack with his great big mask on. <laughs> He was happy, so. And I ordered the jigsaw at the same time. I thought, oh, well, we'll get something to keep us entertained if we're not going out. So we started that this morning. Got the frame all done, which is nice. We still picked everything out and we we're still three pieces short of the frame, so I had to go digging through again. Um, yeah, so I don't know where we're going to go this afternoon. Everywhere I think of going, like, we've got Elveston Castle. There's a blackbird on there fence now um i was thinking of going to like elveston castle but people i've spoken to have said everywhere they've gone this week and like last weekend it's just so many people it's just rammed because you know people can finally go out so they are and it's a school holiday uh, at least in our county some of the women i work with in castle donnington they're i think their class is northwest leicestershire even though castle donnington is derbyshire um, and they've gone back already. So their kids were literally back at school three weeks and then they were off for two weeks. I'm like, oh, really? Um, 
so at least I was there for four weeks and then they had two weeks off <laughs> so it's half and half you, know. <laughs> you do four weeks we'll give you 50% of that time off again um, and I think they've got a week off in May <laughs> nothing in June and then in July they break up for six weeks yeah I have no childcare booked because we don't know if I'll be here or not hopefully I'll be here um, there has been a discussion that potentially um, well, we've had to take on a whole new team for Brexit uh, entries and stuff now we've so helpfully left the EU great um, so it's caused a lot more work um, and that team are in a, where we were sitting so if we have to go back with any sort of social distancing there isn't room for us if we go back with no social distancing there still isn't really room for us all because uh, we're a department of eight uh, and then I think the Brexit department department is like six or seven people and there weren't that many free desks so I don't know what they'll do but there was talk of potentially some people staying at home and being based at home which I said well I wouldn't mind in a way but I'd, I'd need to <laughs> need to do one day in the office or something just for interaction um, but it's so helpful with the kids just to be here if they need me um, and they're getting more out of me the company's getting more out of me because I log on early uh, I, not when I'm fetching Jack I can stay late but I can log on at night and at weekends not that that's encouraged or anything by them but if something needs doing it's, I'm here um, that's what I said to Paul I wouldn't be against it but we both sort of said at the same time, but we'd need to sort out an office space or something. I don't want to be sat in the dining room forever. Um, so we'd have to see. It would be, a, you know, a discussion. Obviously, work would have to, to raise. They might not want us all at home. It has, it's been said, but nothing official. So we'll see. Oh, I've done a lot of waffle today. My burn hurts. Not like all the time, but I keep catching it. Um, Blooming oven. <laughs> Who knew it was hot? <laughs> Dear. Um, a kitten update. The kittens that my uh, woman I know from school, my friend Jenny, um, the mum had started like in labour Friday last week, Thursday, Friday, um, and, uh, and had the one kitten and then it went quiet and I'm like, is she okay? You know, like, is she doing okay? Um, and she said, yeah, we've spoken to the vet and it can take, you know, the rest should be born within 24 hours, sort of thing. Um, and then nothing. And then I messaged her and said, is everything okay? You know, like, I'm worried. For, for, I was like, tell me to mind my own business. Because I sort of said, we'd be interested in taking one or two. If, you know, if you're happy and you decide to part with them. Because I, I don't want to assume. Because sometimes, you know, the, the kittens arrive and you think, oh, you know, can't part with them or whatever. Um, and then I heard nothing. No, she says, we're going to the vets for a scan. I'll let you know. And then I didn't hear anything. That was Monday. So uh, I was like, but I didn't want to ask on, I didn't want to ask anyone else on Facebook or anything like that in case she, she thought I was being rude or like, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't want to. I was just message her and ask, you know, you're concerned, obviously. So I sent her a message. I'm like, is everything okay? She went, oh, I completely forgot to message her. I'm so sorry. Um, She's had a scan and there was only the one kit and the rest didn't, I don't know, didn't develop or I don't know. So um, I said, well, you know, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask on Facebook because ideally we wanted a pair so they're not, you know, we don't get a lonely one. And to be honest with it being only one, she'll probably end up keeping it herself. Um, so we're back to square one, uh, like trawling. Uh, local sort of charities and rescues and places like that just to see because I believe it is kitten season I don't know if it's like mainly at one time of year or not I don't know but we'll see so no kitties for now which I'm very sad about kind of got it all like I know we'd have to wait for it to be old enough but I, I was all excited I just I'm going to continue to enjoy the birds in the garden because when we get a cat I don't think there'll be any um life <laughs> I think we'll be, be getting uh, presents but 
we didn't have many birds at all in the garden when we had Archie because he was he was murderous. <laughs> Blooming cat. He went. He had a pigeon once. I was like, oh my, why have you done that? It's it's you. I mean, he was a big cat, but I'm like, seriously, a pigeon? What are you doing? And then sat at the back door looking at me. I'm like, I am not opening that door. Get out. Saying that I do miss him, but he was a hairball. Paul's like, we're not having a big furry cat, you know, once a like a domestic short haired or something. I keep seeing so many that would be balls of fluff. Oh. But he was paid to get everywhere. And when he got wet, oh my word. It looked like he'd been um, crimped, like his hair went all <laughs> all wavy. Um and then we had to like shave his butt because it was too hairy. And he hated that quite. I wouldn't be happy if I was in. But then he'd go out and get wet. So he'd come in like some 80s reject all crimped up. And you'd have to get a towel and pick him up, wrap him up like a baby. And he'd, uh, he'd protest for like the first 30 seconds or, or something. And then he'd just like, okay, fine. And he'd lay there and let himself be held like a baby and dried. Anyway, he did actually go off to a farm. Everyone's like, oh yeah, he went to the farm. No, he did, he went to um, Paul's old stepmom's farm that she lives on now. And he was there for a good couple of years, I think, but then he passed away. So, but he was, he was getting on, bless him. But at least he had a good few years of chasing mice and whatever. Killing birds on someone else's property, not ours. <laughs> oh gosh, 20, nearly 22 minutes, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, be almost time to do their dinner now. Um, I don't know if I'll come back because I've just look waffly. Um, but if not, I'll try and film some clips later and I can use them for other days. Depends what I end up doing. But hopefully, crocheting. I need to entertain the kids. Take them out somewhere, getting some fresh air. Toby moaned like I don't know what that made him come and sit in the garden. It's freezing, it's like minus 50. I'm like, the sun is shining on you, it's not minus 50. It's like, it's cold when the sun goes in, but it's not too bad. I'm freezing! Oh my god. So I made him stay out. He wasn't very happy. And then he started playing a game with Jack and he was fine. I'm like, see? Honestly. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will catch up with you later. Or tomorrow, not sure. Um, but I hope you're having a good day. So much yarn. <laughs> I'll have a few days of remorse and then I'll be like, oh, look at that. <laughs> I should have more than a few days. I have no cubes left to fill. Right, I will talk to you all later. Um, take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>